Did you anticipate the Lakers making a move like this? Did you see this one coming? I'll be honest, this one definitely no. caught me by <laughs> surprise. I did not, if I was telling you, oh yeah, I saw this one, you know, from a mile away, no, um, I didn't. But but when I really looked at it, I mean, I can see why the Lakers did make this move and, you know, Mike was just breaking down the contract. What that means is there is no long-term risk with signing E. So the Lakers have that there to be able to see whether or not he's going to be a fit. You know, I think what happened here is the Lakers look at their roster right now and, and they're probably a bit worried about who they were gonna have at backup center so really this gives the Lakers and, and really gives Luke Walton almost just an extra thing in his bag of tricks to be able to use when it comes to the season you know with E and, and how he plays he can space the floor also you know you could have a big man in the game and not have to give up shooting he can even knock down threes from time to time I think in his wow. second season with the Nets he had something like 48 threes so I think what it does it gives Luke Walton another asset to use one other thing I wanted to mention too we're talking talking about this e-signing is that you know Tarek Black being on the roster mm -hmm. you have to think now that Tarek probably isn't going to see too much playing time because when you bring in e that doesn't leave much space for Tarek so that's something else that this could definitely affect right good point there Serena what do you think about the marketing aspect of it it's not the Lakers need help branding especially in China but it'd be kind of fun yeah of course I mean when you first mention it it, it sounds like Oh, some people are saying that one of the reasons the Lakers signed him was because of the marketing aspect nah. and because they want no. the fan base. That's not one of the reasons. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know, Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak, they're not into the marketing side of things. They're into building a team right now. You know, that's Jeannie Buss's job is dealing with the marketing side. So although it's a very interesting thing to talk about and to think about, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in 2007, there was a game that was Yao Ming and Yi going up against each other, and it drew something like 200 million views wow. in China so it's definitely a big deal over there and I uh, talked to a reporter today over in China who said that it was huge huge news over there so it's definitely a big deal but to say that did that come into play when signing him no